Welcome to another video. Let's solve this differential equation in a very general manner. You see this differential equation at first sight looks as if you could separate the x from the y and just integrate, treat it as a separable differential equation by just moving this y to that side. But the more you look into it, the more you realize that you cannot separate the x from the y because you have to first multiply both sides by dx and this dx is attached to both x and y. So even when you move y to this side, you still have dx stuck to it. And when you divide by dx again, the dx is still stuck to this. So you can't separate the x from the y. So this is the non-separable linear differential equation. As you can see, y is raised to the first power. And um, that's it. So because it is not separable, it is important that you know the standard form of a linear differential equation, a first, especially a first order linear differential equation, which is what you have. The differentiation is done only once. That means it's first order and the y is raised to the first power. There's no square root and there's no square and there's no weird stuff around the y. So what is the standard form of a linear differential equation? Well, it is this form dy dx plus some function of x multiplied by y equals another function of x. That's it. If you can write this this way, then you can solve it. Now, we know we cannot separate the, different, the, separate the variables and integrate both sides, but we can make it separable by finding a function such that if we use that function to multiply everything that we see here, it will become separable. That function we're looking for is called the integrating factor. And the integrating factor is easy to compute. And maybe in another video, I'm going to show you how this is obtained. But this is what you must know, the standard form of all linear ODEs, you must know the standard form and you must know the formula for the integrating factor, which is obtained by just logic. It's just common sense that there's something I'm going to use to multiply everything here such that once I multiply it, everything becomes separable. And that factor is called your mu. So we have the integrating factor. Okay, and that is equal to mu. Guess what? How do you compute your mu? Your mu is just equal to e to the integral of this function here, p of x dx. So if you take this p of x and you integrate it with respect to x and you make it the exponent of e, then you have found your integrating factor. If you use this value to multiply this, multiply this, multiply this, this becomes a separable differential equation and you can separ separately integrate them with respect to y, with respect to x on the right hand side. Ah, a lot of explanation. So let's just use it and see how it works. Let's get into it. So the first mission is to write this like this. It has to be like this. And clearly, we can see that I can write dy dx is equal to, if I move this y back here, it becomes, um, do I, oh no, dy dx minus y will be equal to x. It looks like this now looks like this. So if you compare, this is my dy dx, the function that's multiplying this is now, this implies that p of x, the function I'm looking for is equal to negative 1. And the function that is on the right is equal to x. So I have written this exactly as it's supposed to be in the standard form. And I can use my integrating factor. This is my integrating factor. I can use it. Now, is this the only way to solve this? No. You could use a u substitution, replace the right hand side with something else, and you'll be able to get another expression then become separable. 
The problem with that is things could get very complicated if on the right hand side you have a complicated uh, function then you have to differentiate and then you find another way to reintegrate it might not be as straightforward as it should be so I recommend this one as the universal method and then if you think it's easier do a use substitution in another video I'll show you how to do this by use substitution okay so let's go back here so now let's find our mu the integrating factor so we know that the integrating factor will be e raised to the power the integral of p of x dx so let me write it p of x dx this is the same thing as e to the power of negative 1 dx well if we integrate negative 1 what do we get with respect to x is going to be just x e to negative x rather so this is e to the negative x okay plus c now should you add plus c at this point or not for now because we're dealing with the integrating factor don't worry about plus c we're going to use plus c much later so e to the negative x is our integrating factor that's the integral of negative one okay so take that value and bring it here let me explain it use e to the negative x to multiply this so e to the negative x times dy dx plus e to the negative x times y okay oh by the way where is it times negative y so this is going to be minus okay minus y will be equal to e to the negative x times x let me write it as x e, e to the negative x if you pay close attention this side you have on the left hand side is the derivative of y e to the negative x this is the derivative if I gave you this and I said what's the derivative of this function with respect to x this is what you're going to get e to the negative x do y dx minus e to the negative x times y it's going to be keep the first differentiate keep the uh, differentiate the first keep the second you get that minus or it's going to be plus okay but you're going to get a negative negative when you differentiate this the minus is going to show up and then you're going to have y you keep it and that's what you have okay and so the derivative of the left hand side is what you have on the right hand side that's why we call this the integrating factor because once you get it you don't need to do any work you just need to take it use it to multiply y and keep it on the left your work is just on the right hand side so now we have to integrate both sides if you integrate this by the way don't forget that this is the same thing as the derivative of this okay so if you integrate y e to the negative x let me write it as prime it would be the integral of x e to the negative x dx remember prime here is just the same thing as dy dx of this function but we're going to keep the dy on the left we move the dx to the right so this is now the differential this is the differential so i could have written this as dy dx of let me write it so you can see what i'm saying So this is d dx of this expression now if you use dx to multiply this side it comes here and what is on this side is just d of this let's clean this up so this is the same thing as d of y e to the negative x so this integral sign actually cancels this d that's how you do it the integral sign removes the d so that what you have is just y e to the negative x equals the integral on the right hand side and this can be easily done using the di table i'm going to use it integration by parts let's just write it here quickly differentiate integrate always differentiate the polynomial integrate e to the negative x if i differentiate this i get one i differentiate one more time i get zero plus minus plus if i differentiate this i'm going to oh, integrate i get negative e to the negative x integrate again i get e to the negative x so this is what i have 
So on the right hand side, I multiply this, I'm going to get negative x e to the negative x. I multiply this way, so I get negative e to the negative x. I go this way, it's going to be zero. So I stop and this is where I say plus c. So remember, the mission is to find y. So if I have y here, it's going to be, I'm going to divide everything here by e to the negative x because e to the negative x cannot be zero. It's the same thing as multiplying every term by e to the x. So if I multiply this by e to the x, I'm going to get just negative x. If I multiply this by e to the x, I'm going to get minus one. If I multiply this by e to the x, I'm going to get plus c e to the x. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.